Hey what's up everybody, so if you're having trouble with the latest PS4 update 7.50 then you've come to the right place. So if you're getting the problem where it won't let you install the update file then I'm going to show you what you need to do to get your PS4 fixed so that it installs the update successfully. So what a lot of people are experiencing is that when they can't update to 7.50 they're getting problems launching apps such as YouTube or playing certain games. So we're going to fix that for you and get you up and running again. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to notifications. So go all the way left and click notifications. You're going to want to go scroll down and look for the update 7.50. And then you're going to want to hit the options button and then go ahead and download the notification for the 7.50 update. So go ahead and select it and go down to delete. And there you go. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and restart your PS4 and shortly after doing that then you should see the update getting re-downloaded and it's going to notify you that it's ready for installation and then go ahead and try to install it again. Okay and if that fix didn't work for you I'm going to show you how to install the update using safe mode and we're going to go ahead and download the update over the internet. Okay to get in safe mode you're going to want to go to power and make sure you shut down your PS4 all the way. Do not enter rest mode make sure to select turn off ps4 otherwise it may not work okay in order to get your ps4 into safe mode you're gonna have to connect your controller to the ps4 with the usb cable so make sure once it's plugged in you're gonna want to hold down the power button for about seven seconds until you hear a second beep so keep holding it down you should see you should hear a second beep there we go, and then you can go ahead and let it go. Okay, in order to get to the safe mode menu, you're gonna have to press the PS button on your PS4 controller. Now, if you press the PS4 button and nothing happens, that means you're probably not using your original PS4 USB cable. So if that's the case, you can look around your house to see if you have another USB cable that will work for you. But if you can't find a cable that works, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down in the description below for a cable that I know works for sure. So go ahead and Look in the description for that. But if you have the right cable, go ahead and press the PS button. And you're gonna see some options here. And the one we wanna go to is option number three, which is update system software. And don't use the analog control here. You wanna use the D-pad here. So option number three, update system software, and go ahead and press X. And then we're gonna go down to update using internet. Okay, so if you're using Wi-Fi for your PS4 and it works just fine, then go ahead and continue. But if you get a message such as this, the one I got here, it says cannot find a Wi-Fi network, or if it's asking you to use a LAN cable to continue, we're gonna show you guys a different method, and that is to use a LAN cable to connect your PS4 to your internet router. And that's gonna download the update much faster, and it's gonna prevent possibility of it getting corrupted. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that now. Okay, so just press the X to get out of here. And then go ahead, select restart by going up and press X. And go ahead and keep the USB cable connected since we're gonna use it again in safe mode in just a bit. Okay, once the PS4 is booted up, go ahead and press the PS button here. Your controller should go ahead and turn on. Okay, so we're gonna go down to network, press the X, and we're gonna go to set up internet connection. Okay, so instead of using Wi-Fi, we're gonna go ahead and use a LAN cable, which is gonna download the update much faster. And it's gonna to help to prevent the update file from getting corrupted. So if you don't have a LAN cable for your PS4, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down in the description to one that you can pick up and connect it to the back of your PS4. And then you connect the other end to your internet router. So let's go ahead and select use a LAN cable and just select easy. Okay, and then we see that the internet settings have been updated and I recommend that you run the test internet connection. I already ran mine, so I'm not gonna run it right now. So go ahead and press the circle to go back. And then we're gonna go ahead and shut down our PS4 so that we can get into safe mode one more time. And remember to do a, and remember to go down to power options and do a full turn off and not the rest mode. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So go ahead and press X. Okay, so one more time to get your PS4 into safe mode, you're gonna wanna hold down the power button on your PS4 for about seven seconds. Then you hear a second beep. After hearing that second beep, you can go ahead and let go of the power button. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We just heard the first beep and wait to hear the second beep and then go ahead and let go. Okay, at this point, make sure you have your USB cable connected to your PS4 controller and go ahead and press the PS button. Go ahead and go down to update system software Press X 
and then go ahead and go down to update using internet. Okay, and the great thing about the safe mode option is that even though I have the version 7.50 installed, it's gonna go ahead and let me install it again. So if you install the version 7.50 update and you're having problems, go ahead and try this by going to safe mode and then reinstall the 7.50 update. Okay, so go ahead and press X so we can go to the next screen. And we see here that it's gonna go ahead and download the update file. So you can see right here, because I'm using the LAN cable, it's downloading really fast. If I were on Wi-Fi, this would take a while. And if your Wi-Fi signal is not too great, this could corrupt this update file, which is gonna give you problems. So again, I recommend using the LAN cable if at all possible. And there we go. We have about a second left. You see that it actually downloaded pretty fast. It's about 500 megabytes. And now we get this message stating that our PS4 will be updated. And we're gonna go ahead and press the X key to update our PS4 to 7.50. Okay, it is now performing the system software update. Okay, it is now performing the system software update. Make sure you don't turn off your PS4 during the installation, otherwise you might break your PS4. And there we go, the update has finished and our PS4 will restart. All right, and if everything went well, you should see the PS logo come up. It's gonna go ahead and take a second to rebuild the database. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, the PS4 update 7.50 successfully installed. If this video helped you out, I would appreciate a subscribe. And if you're still having problems, go ahead and look up here for a video that might help you out with this problem. Until next time, see you then.